Ko mai hape mai a hakarai a ki a o te arua ki tōna kāinga rua, whai muri i ngā hau mau iwitanga o te whakataetai Panpanks. So I came up for a seminar one time and I, I was just sleeping on the mats here and um, I was the only one here and he was like, oh bro, just come sleep at my house. I um, yeah, came up and yeah, they go, oh, you, there's a room for you downstairs if you want it. Drove back to Rotorua, packed my suitcases and yeah, the rest is history. Yeah, my name's Steve Oliver and uh, I'm head, head instructor here at uh, Oliver MMA West Auckland. Steve is like the OG godfather of jiu-jitsu in New Zealand. In my biased opinion, his academy and affiliation is the best in the country. But on a personal level, he's just, he's the man, you know. You know, I mean, it's hard for these kids from out of town moving up into Auckland. I mean, you know, it's hard for anybody to survive up here, but to train full time, it's almost impossible. So we've opened our home to, to Hux and a few of the boys and, um, yeah, just went from there, really. He was already been doing a bit of boxing and wrestling because I think he wrestled at Calston Boys High School. And he heard about this jiu-jitsu ground fighting. He went in there. Uh, got a bit of a hiding on the ground and ever since then he was like I need to get good at this so he moves over to LA stays in just whatever he can I'm um, just chasing this jiu-jitsu dream and he was training under Hickson Gracie he uh, won the Nogi Jiu-Jitsu Worlds he's the only person from New Zealand to win, win the Nogi Worlds at his level so for me that I just draw confidence from that, knowing that there's one guy in, in the country that's won the Worlds and he's my coach. I'm just like, you know, he a te rau taki. I tū atu i ngā mahi mamau e whakarite āna hoki a hakaraia mō ngā whakataetai MMA e kaina muana. You can see he had talent, you know, he moved well and yeah, it just happened that he just had an opportunity to move up here. He just felt like that was what he needed to do and yeah, he's just been a real asset to the team in all, all areas, you know, he, he helps out with classes, he, you know, he's a great mentor and, uh, and leader for the team, you know, he leads by example. That's all I've been doing with Hux is really sharpening and working through his game, what he needs to work on as far as holes in his game, his jiu-jitsu. And he's got no holes now, I mean, he's got great hands, he wrestles at a, you know, great level, world-class jiu-jitsu, and we've seen that in the last couple of worlds. So he's ready, man. You know, what I mean, he's mentally ready. He's he's sharp technically. He's fit, strong. But you know, you're dealing with the best in the world, so it's always a hard thing to accomplish. No, he's he couldn't be more ready.